Joe, if somebody needs knee replacement, what are the options you tell people? Yeah, um, so we've already decided the patients, we call it failed conservative treatment. We tried all those things you've talked about, nothing's working. So at this point, the patient is really a candidate for a knee replacement based on the things we've talked about. So if, if this, is, this is a model of a normal knee, when we do a knee replacement, literally all now of- this is the- This is the patella. That's the kneecap. The kneecap. Uh -huh. And this is the tendon called the patellar tendon. Yes. And this is the bone called the femur. That's the top the bone. The top of the bone, the thigh bone. Uh huh. And then the bottom bone is the shin or the tibia, okay? So the surfaces that are replaced are all of those surfaces that glide together uh, normally. So the patella, the surface of the patella is replaced. The femur is replaced with a metal cap. The top of the tibia is replaced with a plate and then a plastic bearing surface. So you have to replace all of those. All that's replaced, yes, sir. What are the options of doing that? So uh, the, the conventional way that uh, surgeons are trained is through just a standard approach where the, the incision comes in the middle of the knee uh, and the, the patellar tendon and patellar are actually dislocated off the femur. So they pull it out of the right, way. To get exposure. And you can see that to do that as this kneecap is, uh, the patella is dislocated, you get very good yeah. view. I mean, in fact, you could drive a Mack truck in there if you do it about that. So the surgery is done that way. The other approach, which is what I've been doing for probably close to 10 years, is an approach where the incision is more medial. Instead of cutting the patellar tendon, the incision comes up, it comes across this muscle called the vastus medialis, which is called a quadriceps muscle. Mm -hmm. We spare it, and instead of dislocating the kneecap, it's slid over to the side. So this entire quadriceps mechanism is protected. Now, why is the quadriceps so important? The, the quad, is, the, is it a quadriceps sparing? Is that what you're talking about yeah, here? this is called a quad sparing total knee replacement. Uh -huh. The quads muscle is that muscle that gets you to straighten your leg up. So it, it does your straight leg raising. If you cut through the quads muscle, it has to heal before you can do that comfortably. That takes about six, eight weeks. If I, if I preserve that quads muscle, literally the day of the surgery, the patient's lifting their leg straight up in the air. So they can The day of surgery, they the can The day of surgery, yes, sir. Okay, so you've got quadriceps sparing. Mm -hmm. you, what type of hardware, what type of knee yeah. replacement do you put in? Both the, the standard and your type the same? Now, it, in the quad sparing procedure, which is what I do, I put in the exact same implants. But to do that, we have some specialized instrumentation to kind of get things into that small space. And there are things that I've actually worked on, and most of them I've developed over the last probably 10 years myself, modifications of standard equipment. So this is what we put inside of the patient's knee. And uh, everyone seems to think we actually cut their legs off, but we really don't. So uh, on the shin part of it, we just actually remove just the surface of the shin bone, enough to put this metal plate on the top surface. Ah. Okay. On the femur, we don't, again, we don't cut your femur off. You can see how it's squared off? Yes. And then this femoral component is put onto the end of the femur to resurface it. And then this is the, the little plastic liner which replaces the actual joint. So this particular device, this is a new, new, new knee replacement I've been using for probably the last six months. And it's called a rotating platform. And if, I don't know if you can kind of appreciate that. As the knee bends and the tibia moves, this plastic piece. So normally it doesn't move laterally. Right. Why does that help? So what I found with this particular device is the knee, all knee replacements are gonna make some noise. Uh -huh. This particular knee, as it flexes and rotates, gives a much more fluid feel. So the patients don't perceive as much of that noise, the clicking and popping, and it, just, it feels more normal. And I have to admit, I was a bit, bit skeptical but after I've used it, the patients really, really, it, they love it. I mean, it performs even better what's than it, what we've done. What's it called? This is made by a company called Attune, uh, a company Attune. called Depew. It's called an Attune knee, and it's called a rotating platform knee. And it's, it's marketed for maybe a higher performance type of patient. Someone does sports, uh, tennis, pivoting, twist, twisting kind of activities where that rotation happens more normally.